Hi, I'm Danny Ramos, and welcome to this week's edition of Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you for the past 15 years on Bright House Cable Networks. On my left, Bill Garlington, who is a conservative. In the middle, Greg Perkins, who is the host of EDU TV, liberal. And at the end, Jose Miranda, who is the host of Speak Out, and who is an ultra-liberal. Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk a little bit of what's going on in politics. So, let's start off with Hillary Clinton. With all the stuff that's going on with Trump, we only got a little bit of Hillary Clinton because she's been pushed out of the front news because of all the stuff that's going on with Trump and Cruz. But there was an FBI statement. You want to go first so they can respond? Yeah, the FBI statement that I heard today uh, was that they're getting all the people, including Hillary, uh, they're going to schedule them probably next week for interviews. And I heard that this is... Um, a step of they've got some information that they want to share with Miss Clinton, and uh, this may be leading to either an indictment or non indictment. Okay, either an indictment or, or not an indictment. indictment. Yeah. Now, also, when somebody testifies, like in this particular case, okay, that's on the record. Correct. So, any information that they give that's not true, then they can be charged with perjury. Right, because the person that was given immunity, the person that was uh, head of the server, uh, he's already met with uh, the FBI people. So yeah, they've already got, been interviewed. Right, they've, already, they've got this information, so they're going to uh, contact uh, Hillary. So they're going to her... compare the notes? Correct. They're going to compare I believe so, yes, sir. Yeah, that's what you believe. Yes. Your turn. I, 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 I like the way Bill, he's hedging his bets. He said she may or may not. Well, well, well hey, she may or may well, not. well, you he's can't go wrong honest. with that. You, you, you can't go wrong with that. If you guys think that they're going to indict Hillary Clinton, you, you guys now, ought to Now, why don't you think that she would not be indicted? Let's say, because, because you, don't think she, you don't think she broke the law. Yeah, I don't know. What, what law did she break? Yeah. Like, let's say she broke the law, right? I don't know. What law is it? Okay, let me That's what you, I want to know. I let me know tell you what it is, okay? okay? And very simply, okay? She had over 100 emails mm. that ran through her server, right. which shouldn't have run through her server. She, it's against the law for her to use a server in her house to run government documents, whether they're secret or not. But I think they had 122 documents that were designated as secret, and they ran through her server. Now, forget about the 122, whatever the number was, of documents that were secret. She is not permitted by law to operate a server out of her house to run government information through it. So she was spying on the United States? Is huh? that what is she's a spy now? No, I didn't say she was well, spy. Why? You saying she's a spy? I'm, I still don't understand the well, law. Can so I, I, I get what is the law? I, okay, I just can I ask a question? We're talking. If she wasn't running for president, if I did it, or Jose, or you did it, and the. Would you be indicted? Would you? Is that against the law? Is are you saying because she may be Hillary Clinton running for president, she may be getting a pass? No, I just don't know what the specific law is. That's okay, well, I'm not trying to be I just said it. I you just said it. No, that's you illegal. cannot that's use a government okay. server. A government employee cannot use a government server, and a many server, government a employees server that was prosecuted. set up by the government for her personal use. No, and the biggest, you're wrong. And the, the government biggest, was set. The, the server and, was and, set up and the by the thing, private contractor who has been interviewed already and there been is, given there are immunity. No, there are no laws that have been broken. You haven't proven any laws that have been broken. There are allegations of something that was secret at one time or not secret at one time. The other allegation there... Let's take it one at a time. The other, the other thing that they talk time. about... Wait a minute. The other you thing said they laws talk about, have not been broken. The other is thing that, that was the, is the phone, okay? Her use of a BlackBerry is a, a, another issue, okay? And that is where she used the phone at that specific time. She broke no laws, and regardless of what the Republican Party is trying to do, mm -hmm. this woman is not going to be indicted. Okay. Okay. That's an opinion. Okay. Yeah, do you fine. feel that? Well, yeah. It's all of it. It's an opinion at this point. Until we know, until they actually. But it's not the Republican Party. It's the FBI doing this on their own, not the Republican Party. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you say that the FBI is controlled by the Republican Party? I'm saying to you that there's a, a Who great... Who is there an Obama appointee? There is a great push, okay, by the Republicans to try to indict this woman, knock this woman down, so they don't have to deal with her in the fall. There's a great push okay. by the Democratic Party to push Cruz and to push Trump down. No, they, That's politics. Oh, no, we, no, we welcome both of no, 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 we welcome it's both of these guys. Democrats welcome yeah, that. Exactly. Please, bring them on. They should actually run at the same time. <laughs> right, you exactly. exactly. That's exactly they should what be they're saying at Hillary. Bring them on. They yeah. should run at the same time. Yes. Okay, so okay. let me get this clear. Like you, right now. You have st you're stating... 
that no law has been broken by Hillary Clinton having a private server in her house or in the bathroom of a company in Denver who was not vetted by the government. You're saying no law was broken. I am saying to you the laws that they, the, the allegations here are whether she had secret stuff, okay, at the time that she was sending out. And secret stuff can be changed in a minute, and the person doing it won't even have a knowledge of okay. it. Okay. What I'm saying to you is that is two items. One is having a server not authorized by the government of the United States and in no way connected with the government of the United States, which she was passing through government information. Mm -hmm. One. The second part How is... How long has she been Secretary of State? Excuse me. What? How long has she been Secretary of State? What? Four years? She's since Obama... Yeah, but they said Colin to... Powell did the same huh? thing. He did the same thing. He had a Colin, private... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, he, had yeah, he had a private email which would run through a but private not, server. No, if you have a Yahoo that? or Gmail account, that's a private server that's owned incorrect. by uh, Google. That's incorrect. Listen, there that's are not, people who have not. done the same thing and they... Yeah. Petraeus did the same thing. There you go. Okay? He got prosecuted. Yeah, but that was sharing secrets. She was sleeping in, right. secrets okay. in bed. That's different. That's Are you different. accusing Hillary of sleeping in bed with somebody given secrets? I don't know, given her. Bill. Oh, so now you're saying I don't know. That. I don't well, know that. Maybe illustrious partner that Bill I, knows. No, I don't know. Personally. I don't know. Well, as you saying that, I'm not saying that. Okay. I wouldn't dare to say that on the air. Okay, well. You know, you're saying that. No, I'm, I'm saying that's a, that's what you guys are hunting for. You guys are no, dreaming. I'm not hunting for anything. You guys are dreaming. dreaming. I don't understand, The Republican Jose. Party should just put Jose, Trump and I Cruz not, up I, now. Forget about Trump and Cruz. Let's Bring go about Hillary. I don't understand why you think the head of the FBI, yeah. okay, is corrupt. Why do you... I never what, said that, but that's well, good that you think that. No, I don't. Well, let's talk about how why you feel he's corrupt. I, I, I think the guy is so honest, and uh, that's the issue. I he cannot be bought. And okay. that's why this thing is who's, going down who's the trying line. To, the Republicans are trying to buy him? Is that what you're Nobody's saying? Nobody's trying to buy him. I think, I think no, you're Nobody's saying that. You just said that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What I'm you saying You alluded is, to the fact this guy's honest and all this, as honest as Abe, as the expression goes. I don't know about Abe. But yet, but yet you're talking about he, he's, a, he's willing to take a bribe. I'm sorry. You're telling, the, you're, you're telling <laughs> America Bernie had here. a good night, though. Hey, yeah, he okay. really did. Over the weekend, yeah, Bernie, Bernie, Bernie really had a good okay. night. You're, so saying, you that guys, you're, you're guys, saying that I said that the and guy the reason, head of the FBI and, and, is, is and taking a bribe? You said from that. From who? You no, said probably from the Republican Party. I did. Roll back the tape. Probably did we say the that? Did we say that? No. I don't understand why you think the head of the FBI, yeah. okay, is corrupt. Why do you, I never what, said that, but that's well, good that you think that. No, I don't. Well, let's talk about how, why you feel he's corrupt. I, I, I think the guy is so honest, and uh, that's the issue. He cannot be bought. And okay. that's why this thing is who's, going down who's the trying line. To, the Republicans are trying to buy him? Is that what you're Nobody's saying? Nobody's trying to buy him. I think, I think no, you're saying that. You just him. said that. No, I didn't. And the reason Hillary hasn't been in the house, because we've been dealing with you've terrorists. You've been smoking okay. some heavy stuff, man, yeah, to say something dealing, like that. We've been dealing with terrorists, which are much more important than dealing with the politics in America. Okay. Okay. Well, doesn't dealing okay. with politics in America reflect how we deal with terrorists? No. Doesn't the next president of the United States reflect how we're going to deal with terrorists? Oh, well, do I, I would think I so. I think it's oh. an important issue, just oh. like Richard Nixon and Watergate. Why are you being so Watergate Nixon is <laughs> an important man. issue back listening. in 74. All right, well, but, the bottom line is that he thinks Hillary Clinton is a saint. Yeah. No, okay? I didn't say she was a you saint. You have a wait-and-see attitude. You think she's probably guilty. But if she may not be. We're going to find out. But she may be found. Oh, we're so going to find out. Yeah. flipped on the other side. We're going to find out. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, I think that she did break the law and she's going to negotiate. You're the, wishing. Okay. That she broke you're the law. wishing. I, that's what I think. That's my opinion. That yeah, she okay. broke the law. No, you're wishing. But the government. You can think something without wishing it. You're actually wishing it. No, I'm not wishing it. What I'm saying, because that would be terrible to have the head of the Democratic Party. To, Since you know, when? be convicted of something. You That's would terrible. love that. You can't wait. No. You're salivating over that. Listen, I, no, I, you and Bill are salivating. I, I, are you well, kidding me? As long as if, if that's what you want to say, okay. go ahead and say. It. Let's right. talk. What do you else you want to talk about? Bernie had a great weekend. Bernie had an exceptional weekend. He but had, he, he's Bernie not going to get the nomination because it's rigged. Because the super delegates are going the to super go delegates for Hillary unless she's indicted, which in fact then they'll go. There with you Bernie. go again, wishing. Always something on there, right? You just oh. gotta throw that on. Let's right? go do Benghazi. Let's talk about Benghazi again. I don't want to talk about getting Benghazi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, you guys Benghazi. wore that one out. Now, now, now the email is your new thing. Okay. You guys wore Benghazi no, the, out. The, the, the email <laughs> thing has always been there, and Benghazi was part of the email. No, you wanted Benghazi. Yeah, yeah you guys, you, you guys couldn't do anything with Benghazi. Now it's email. What are you gonna come up with the next? Emails are part of Benghazi. Okay. It's all part of the same problem. Okay. We could talk about Louisiana. And but was there any malicious intent? Delegates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. there wasn't any malicious. About that. 
What? Oh, yeah. That's... About Louisiana and oh, yeah. getting all those yeah. delegates. What do you yeah, think you about guys, that? You guys are the mess. Isn't man. that great? Trump Wonderful. said he's going to sue. That's sue okay. Guys. And Cruz is going to lose Louisiana. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, it's no big deal. So Cruz is your guy, anyway. right? Yeah, Cruz has always been my man until yeah. he's. Uh, do, do you actually until think he's, he's electable, indicted. Bill? He. This is what my prediction. You, you've heard it here first. Oh. If he doesn't get elected on the second or third ballot yeah. on the contested convention, he's he will run for third party. He will run for third party. Yeah. He will take an establishment. And Bernie and, Sanders will become president of the United States. And v, the while VP, Hillary will be out. Well, VP, he will run VP, and it'll be the first time in American history that a third party wins the a majority of electoral votes. You heard it here first. He will win the presidency with an uh, establishment. But, 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 no, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. So you think the, the, the country is ready for Ted Cruz? He's going to be nominated with the GOP, in my opinion, with second right. or third ballot. Okay? If he doesn't, he will pivot and run as a third party. You know marijuana is illegal, right? Yes. Okay. Not in Colorado. What do, you, what do you think about what he said? You heard it here first. What do you think about what he just said? Oh, no. Cruz is too extreme, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's, pissed, he's, he's pissed a lot of people off. Yeah. You know, or Lindsey okay, Graham how is said. he extreme? Okay, he's extreme because he's anti-immigration, right? No, he's not. Yes, yes he, is. he is. Illegal immigration. He's oh, okay. Well, that's key, people. Key. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, he wants to abolish the health care that was passed by law. That's okay. extreme. Obamacare. Bad. Yeah. Very okay. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's an extreme okay, position. Okay. okay. Uh, what else do I know about it? He wants to shut down the government. Yeah. Shut down the government. No, he wants to eliminate the government no, and bring it back to down to the down. states. Oh. We have too much pork in the federal government. Yeah. He wants to eliminate the IRS. Oh, I see. What do you think about that, America? Yeah, IRS. what do you think about eliminating the IRS? What do you think about that, from, America? From a democratic point of view. That's dumb. Oh, you think so the dumb. IRS should should continue? You, yeah, yeah, of okay. course. Why? Okay. How else would you collect taxes? Great, great. And great. pay for our great services, our great public great schools, question. We, our it, great parks, I'll, our great highways. Huh? He's, I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to tell you. How? The interior, the cabinet position, you take the IRS and eliminate them, and you collect all the income on a postage stand, stamp t at 10% through the uh, interior of the wah, cabinet. Wah, 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 That's how wah. you do it. You take all those IRS people and put them back in the uh, private sector. You, you know, you guys just say that because that's something popular to say, right? It's very but important you, no, to no, the American I, people. I, they're they're I, salivating no, over no, the IRS going saying, away. What do you think about getting rid of the IRS? I believe they could probably use a different way of taxation. However, like what? Like what? However, like what? However, I would not eliminate it because we do need a, a, a form of collection. Yeah. Okay. This, is, this about, is not a freeloader society. Uh, and you just write in your check this and mail is, it in. This is, unfortunately, gets a, gets we'll the do, interior for those of the 50 percent of the companies that are but, but, overseas, but, 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 we will never get a dime off. We're not getting a dime off of them anyway. And we Republicans close, have and we the House in the Senate, down. right? So why don't they pass it? Republicans have the House in the Senate. Because Obama will sign it. No, no, no. You guys could overrun that. Yes, you can. All you yeah. need is a vote. No, you got to have 60 you plus votes. You, need, you, need you can't votes. get 60. Y'all got a majority. You got the majority. Why can't you get it done? What have you guys done lately anyway? Oh, wait, wait. They haven't done anything lately. I mean, just, eight, name, just name one thing. That's when the great Republican policy. I'll tell you what they've done. They've obstructed what? Obama okay. from being a dictator. I said, no, what have you oh, yeah. done? Okay? Done. Not what have you obstructed. They've obstructed Obama from being a dictator. And now he's a dictator. Now, give me something positive. Just one thing that you guys have done. One. Just one. Yeah, good. One thing the Republicans have done. They have neutralized Obama. In the Supreme Court decision, no. that's not Very positive. positive. That's against well, the law. Well, it's not positive to you it's, because it's the country's the standing it's not still. To you. The that's because not Obama moving. is such an extremist. No, yeah, okay. He's such an extremist wow. that they've had to stop it. Jose, by the way, they can't name one positive no, thing that the uh, they haven't yeah, done anything right. in twenty years. That's right. <laughs> what have you guys done in twenty? years? One thing, Bill. You got just one. We're running, we've run a half a thing. Right, we're out of time? Okay, listen. We promoted the KKK. Is that what we've done in 20 years? We're going to take this on for next week. Cool it, guys. You can come back and fight another fight. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to take a break. And uh, our friend at the end, the extreme liberal over there, um, who thinks that Hillary Clinton is, is, is Mary, Joseph, and everybody combined into one, is that he's right? going to do some interviews. We'll be right back. <laughs> Mili Quesada Esta noche amanecemos Mani Manuel Una vez dije que te amaba Los hermanos Rosario Que buena esta noche Mili te 21 Acláveme esto Moni Cepeda La fotografía Capra Negra Super Magnato Y cerrando el festival Johnny Ventura Y tiene que no hasta la VIP 407 492 5150 Te invita La rumba Y Taino Lightbeer 
Hi, I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak Out TV, brought to you each week by Bright House 49. Uh, we have other shows on the network. Of course, we have uh, Latino Role Models, which follows this program. And of course, we have EDU TV with uh, Greg Perkins. And of course, the Latino Role Models. Um, of course, we talk politics, and we talk religion, and we talk our culture. And um, I'm, proud to, I'm proud to say I'm here with uh, Victor Torres, who is a representative of District 48. Cool 48. All right, and welcome. Sir. Thank you. And just, just to highlight what uh, Victor does, okay, he's um, in the committees of economic, I have to read it because my memory is like a sieve, economic development and tourism subcommittees. He's also the uh, ranking Democrat member in there. Uh, Children's Family and Senior Subcommittee, Education Committee, uh, Government Operations, Appropriations Subcommittee, Joint Select Committee on Collective Bargaining, Transportation and Economic Development, uh, Appropriations and Subcommittee, plus he's a former police officer in New York City. Um, and he's been dealing here, in the, here for uh, at least a, a little couple of years doing some stuff. So oh, we've been here since uh, in Florida since '93, since I retired in '92 from New York. Right, so, so, well, thank you, sir, for for your service and the things that you've been doing. I'm a veteran too, and so am I. You're a you're Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Okay. So <laughs> 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 Welcome home, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you for the invitation. So, um, there are, you're running for office again. Uh, I'm running for Senate. Well, you're, you're still running for office again. You're, okay, you're, to keep your face around us and to continue your good work. So tell me what office are you running for? Senate? Uh, I'm running for a Senate seat uh, right. 15, uh, which encompasses the lower half of Orange County uh, into the entire uh, county of Osceola. Okay. Uh, no, more, no more Polk. It includes Osceola, St. Cloud. Is this under our new, our new map? This is one of the 40 uh, redistricting maps that were um, authorized or directed by the courts and uh, that's the new seat that I'm, I'll be running for. Okay. It's a brand new, spanking new seat? Well, well somebody take, had it before. Uh, senator Soto was the uh, present senator that is and, in that and he, seat. And he's moving along. He's running for Congress, right. as you know. Okay. So, um, what is it you're going to bring to the table that hasn't been there already? Well, I, my, uh, my experience has been in the four years uh, in the House, uh, when you have 119 individuals, it's kind of hard to get uh, your bills heard or move um, programs or issues that you want to sure. make sure they move. And the Senate is the key. Okay. The key that unlocks many issues that are concerning to me. Um, too many kids are suffering, too many elderly people on waiting lists, mm -hmm. uh, education, a lot of money going to uh, charter schools, and not enough to our public schools, uh, health programs, you know, as you know, uh, the state has refused to accept uh, Medicaid expansion. Mm -hmm. So we still have uh, many uh, uh, Floridians who don't have medical They're coverage. Not covered, right? yeah. I saw that. But I would also point out to you that uh, a lot of bills that you put out there have been uh, vetoed or shut down in committee or s just standing around not doing anything and subsequently have died. Now you're, you happen to be in a minority there and this is a Republican state. How are you going to get past all that to get, because you have a lot of good stuff that you want to do. Well, let me, let me first clarify. Right. This is not a Republican state. This is a state that is changing as we speak. The possibility of being a purple or a blue state is still evident. Um, the bills that you talk about, mm -hmm. they never get heard in committee. Why? Because the Republicans have the supermajority, meaning mm -hmm. they're 81 to our 39. Okay. They hold the committee heads. The Speaker is uh, Republican. The Governor is Republican. The Senate is Republican. Right. Forty seats in the Senate, if we get 17 to 18, will balance out and make sure that everything is fair. You think that's possible? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, are, I you, do. are you being tremendously optimistic or you think you have the numbers out there to do that? I think we have the numbers out there to do it. Okay. And I think that um, uh, you have to look the uh, demographics of this state the fastest growing uh, minority group, right. which is us, the Latinos, right. you know, we might, we'll make a difference along with the African American voter out there. So right. it's going to be good. How do we turn, because this is being in your wheelhouse, how do we turn around some of the stuff that's going on? Because what I can see, this governor has turned this state into a, a, a bedroom state. We, we provide fluff pillows. 
we clean your behinds, we do, we do the hotel services, and that's basically what it do. So what kind of jobs do you plan to try to bring in here? I think that... Uh, or am I misunderstanding I, that I as think, well? you know, I mean, uh, I'm not talking about fluffy pillows or... Uh, uh, House, well, but we have become a tourism state. That's well, what I'm saying. it's it, it's uh, so how do we service how do we uh, service oriented state? Which uh, how do now, we bring the jobs? Well, we bring jobs by offering. Um, let me give you for example, uh, labor has electricians, has pipe fitter, uh, plumbers, pipe fitters. We got about two minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the painters, the uh, uh, at the. Building trades. So th there's a lot of skill work that goes on that we can really get people to get good paying right. with benefits jobs that are out there. But if we don't encourage people who go to the work source to seek for a job and they go there and fill out an application and they've lost their job or they got laid off, this is an opportunity for them to learn a new career, a career that will uh, provide for them and their fami families to live better right. and have a uh, better quality of life. Okay. Real quick, how are we going to encourage or prepare better for our education system? First of all, we have to start at the uh, early learning uh, stages of life with the kids. Okay. Let's say uh, the two-year-old, two to four years old. How do we, we got nurture them? Okay. How do we nurture them? Okay. How do we provide the skills? The child uh, care providers, the ones who take care of our kids, the mm -hmm. ones who sit with our kids, learn them to uh, the kids to start learning the alphabets, right. uh, know their names. Sure. Uh, uh, this is one of the things that um, if you inspire and you get the kids to start reading and start learning things at an early stage, help. From two, that that's that's makes a change. Okay. And especially in our minority group with the Hispanics and, mm -hmm. and African American, well, we have to have our kids learn at that stage of life because that means they'll get a better life, better quality job, mm -hmm. education is all the... the, the I'm going to have to cut you off that. I'm, I'm, I have to get you back here within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Okay, and let's let's get into the education and everything else. I thank you for taking the time to hang Jose, out. It's always okay. a pleasure. Being I'm here sorry, with so you. short a time. No, it's okay. I'm Jose Miranda. This has been Hispanic Speak on TV. We'll see you again next week. Mira, ¿dónde tú estás? Ya estoy aquí, mi vida. ¿Pero qué están tomando? ¿Pero por qué? Porque me traje lo nuevo y diferente. Taino Light Boricua Beer. Y lo más importante es que es lo nuevo y acabadita de salir al mercado. ¿Y saben buenas? Claro, ambas cervezas tienen los mismos beneficios que una copa de vino. Con menos calorías. La Boricua Beer, 6%. Fuerte, pero con sabor. Y la Taino Light, 4.5%. Y es artesanal. Es Somos familia. Calidad y sabor. Visita boricuabeer.com. Hi, I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak Out TV brought to you each week on Bright House Channel 49. We have uh, two additional programs, EDU TV, which is brought to you with the host, uh, Greg Perkins, and of course we have after us, Latino Role Model. We talk politics, uh, we talk education, of course, we talk uh, our culture. We talk about a lot of things. I've been lucky to have is a, a continuous spokesperson in, in the frame of Anna Escamani, who, uh, who is a spokesperson for for Planned Parenthood. Good evening. Hey, Jose. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. You know, and like you're, you're like an in-house, what's going on <laughs> out, out there. Now, we had uh, a lot of stuff going on in Tallahassee, mm -hmm. which basically, in terms of Planned Parenthood, means slash, 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 cut, and some more slashes. Yes. So if I'm wrong, please tell me. No, you're absolutely right. House Bill 1411 uh, passed um, both chambers and uh, made its way to the governor's desk. And so this is a 13-page bill. It's similar to Texas. Basically what Texas took years to do in restricting access to re reproductive care services, both abortion and preventive services, what took them years to do, Florida's trying to do in one session. Okay. And so um, not only are we... But wasn't it overturned in Texas? Was it some of those stuff overturned? It's a good, it's a good question. So a after the, the fact, of course. Well, House Bill 2, which right. has, um, from Texas, that resulted in clinics closing across the state. Many women now spending hours trying to access a safe legal sure. abortion, some turning to self-induced abortions. Actually, new research shown anywhere from 100,000 to 240,000 women are self-inducing their own abortions because That's they can't have medical access. Back in the 50s time. Absolutely, and the Supreme Court's going to make a decision on this. Um, they already heard all arguments, and we expect a decision to come from June um, regarding this legislation, which is very similar to what Florida is trying to pass. Why are so many people and I have to say it, it leans more Republican mm -hmm. than Democrat, but why are so many people against the fact that you're not about abortion, you're about 
Planned Parenthood. What, yeah. what a fantastic novel idea well, that I, is. I think it becomes very evident that this is politically motivated. Okay. These are not folks that are looking at the health of Floridians. They're not thinking about what would be in the best interest of all of Florida. They're thinking about their own next campaign. Right. Um, you know, when it comes to abortion access, abortion is one of the safest medical procedures in the country when it is legal. And mm -hmm. so many times th these bills are pushed to the guise of women's safety, but we know that's not the case. We know mm -hmm. that abortion is already very safe. And so really what this is is an attempt to um, use women's health as a political football so mm -hmm. they can elevate their their next agenda and their next campaign. Is that is that a, a, a like a real good vote getter? Like I I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a tape across your yeah. your private parts and make sure you're never gonna have anything. I mean that's I, th okay. I think it's been so politicized yeah. and that's the, and that's unfortunate because for Planned Parenthood it's not about the politics it's about the people right. and and we're looking at a national landscape where Planned Parenthood specifically has been labeled and attacked yeah. uh, specifically by the Republicans but I'm happy to say that you know, even with Republican groups there is support of Planned Parenthood because folks realize that if we're gonna prevent abortion right. you have to work with Planned Parenthood we're the nation's leading provider of family planning services one in five American women have come to our doors you know, the work that we do is critical to reducing unplanned pregnancies and sure. thus reducing abortion. And who would have thought 30 years ago that uh, vaginas would have such legislative issues? I know. It's interesting because, yeah. you know, even before Roe v. Wade in 1973, mm. it wasn't this political. It really was post-Roe v. Wade, and then the Hyde Amendment was placed into law, mm. which prohibits federal funding going towards abortion. Ever since then, I mean, it's everything been... Points, everything seems to point to the fact that we're not using federal funds for abortion. Absolutely. And yet we continue to bang away at something that doesn't it's exist. A, it is a So what are you guys doing about myth. it other than just sitting back and getting a beating? <laughs> well, we, we, we're never sitting back because they were fighting back. Okay. Um, we've been in Tallahassee every step of the way, um, speaking with legislative officials, bringing the patient stories and the patient advocates right. to Tallahassee to hear it from those who come seek services from us, what this means. And mm -hmm. another um, messaging point used against us is that there's other alternatives to Planned Parenthood. And okay. you'll see opposition often refer to a list of 600 federally qualified clinics that are doing similar work. And you go through that list, and there is no group like Planned Parenthood. I mean, this list has pediatricians. This list has, um, you know, uh, middle school and high school mm. nurses. I mean, great providers of health care, but not reproductive care. And so what's becoming apparent is that there is no replacement for Planned Parenthood. Right. And essentially, these attacks are not about the best interest of the people of Florida, but the best interest of that one politician. Okay. And even, even though um, we have all these negative factors and we think that people who come there don't have the mental capacity to make choices. Mm -hmm. You got psych psychiatrists and stuff like that on staff too, don't you? Well, we or definitely. Well, absolutely. We want to make sure that every person is making an informed decision sure. that is that is theirs and theirs to make. We mm -hmm. we actually do um, when it comes to any patient who comes in with an abortion procedure appointment already made. They go through options education. Right. So whether it's to end a pregnancy, raise a child, or choose adoption, we go through all those options I'm with not the individual. To the door and say, you know, pop this out of yeah. me. Well, we want to make sure you're making an informed decision. We also screen for intimate partner violence okay. um, to really make sure that you're in a healthy relationship if you are in one. Um, and we, we want to check the, the person's, you know, holistic health as a, as, as a being sure. and make sure that they're receiving care in a non-judgmental space. And that's so our number one priority. Our what races are, are you following of interest? <laughs> oh, you mean like politically? Oh, yeah, politically that you find a Well, I can tell you that. Candidate. Yeah. Well, so we do have our political arm, the Florida Alliance of Planned Parent Affiliates, that is um, our statewide C4 that's looking at races on the ground. I can tell you that for the last three months, my brain has been a legislative session. And I'm very excited about the new districts we have. Um, in the Senate, I think it's opening up a lot of doors for um, new folks to come in and, and contest for these races. But ultimately, we want to make sure that every person registered to vote. we got less than a minute. What's one person that stands out in your mind that people should kind of look at? <laughs> Well, I want to uh, just give thanks to a lot of our Republican elected officials who have supported Planned Parenthood this past session, okay. um, and that includes four from Central Florida. Right, thank you. And I know I've got to cut it, but let's come back and let's uh, revisit all these things, especially Absolutely. the up and coming candidates. Okay. So my thank, pleasure. Thank, thank you, you Jose. So much for joining me. Okay. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jose Miranda. This is Hispanic Speak on TV. See you next week.